Good morning, Bedford V Methodist Church family. Once again, welcome to our Wednesday devotion, friends. A time where we are able to care for one another spiritually, a time where we ponder upon God's word, and a time where we get uplifted by the word of God. So friends, let us then begin with a word of prayer. Father, I come before your throne of grace this morning. I give you thanks and praise, Lord Jesus, for all the blessings and your works in my life and in our lives as your people. So Father, I pray that you guide, lead this devotion. Be with each and every person that is watching this morning. May your people grow in understanding your word and have knowledge of your word through these devotions. So I pray this morning in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So friends, my reading for this morning is, again, uh, one of the common, revised common lectionary readings for this coming Sunday, the 31st. My reading for this morning is Psalm 111. I'm going to read from verse 2 to verse 5. Psalm 111, I'm going to read from verse 2 to verse 5. It reads as follows. Great are the works of the Lord, they are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds and his righteousness and yours forever. He has caused these wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. Friends, this is the word of God, and thanks be to God. Amen. Father, I pray that you open our hearts and our minds as we listen in to your word. In Jesus' name, amen. So friends, my theme for this morning is the Lord is gracious and compassionate. Our God is gracious and compassionate. And I thought this is a good reminder, especially during these hard times. Because friends, wherever we look around, we know that people are facing hard times. We're all facing hard times. We're losing our loved ones. We continuously pray for one another as people are sick, you know, get tested positive of COVID, and we pray for healing in their lives. People have lost their jobs and are losing their jobs. We continuously pray for people who've lost their jobs. Some people, uh, they, they haven't lost their jobs, but they had, their income is cut into half or whichever way, but there's loss of income for people. So whichever way you look, it, you look at it, we are in hard times. We are in difficult times because of COVID-19 throughout the world. I mean, I was watching the news yesterday, CNN, and then, and then they were talking about a UK re reaching 100,000 people that have passed away from COVID when the, the Prime Minister was speaking. And for me, watching him speak, and it just broke my heart, realizing how many people have passed away. I mean, in South Africa, we hear we're losing 500, 800 people a day. You know, and, and the rate of, of infection, about 4,000, 5,000 people get infected daily. I mean, just listening to those stats, it breaks my heart. I mean, not so long ago we saw on TV one of the ministers in the presidency, Sheikh Salim Tembe, it was his funeral. I mean, there are those who don't even see their funerals on TV or hear about, but there are those families who constantly are mourning and crying the loss of their loved ones, and we hardly see or hear about them. They become statistics, but to their families, they are not statistics. They are people that they love, that they've lost. If you go to hospitals now, as a minister, I can't get in to go and pray for people. Yes, I understand it's because of my own health as well, and also protecting me and my family, and also protecting the, the, the carers in the hospital, and also the people that are in the hospital. But it's hard times that we can't reach out to our people. So it is such times where people start wondering, where is God when it hurts the most? What is God doing about this? And this morning I want to remind you that, that the Lord is gracious and compassionate. He knows and he sees what we're going through. Being gracious then means, friends, that the Lord is kind towards us, his people. He will show and he continues to show his kindness. The Lord is generous towards his people. He will continue to show us his generosity. Yes, I know we might doubt all these things I'm talking about this morning, but I want to remind you that God is still the same. Was yesterday, is today. He will be forever a gracious God. And friends, compassionate. I learned that from a Latin meaning of compassionate. 
He means the one who suffers with us. So what does that then mean? That means, friends, whenever our heart breaks, God's heart breaks as well. God is not pleased with what we're going through. He does not delight in what we're going through. So the suffering that we're enduring, he suffers with us. That's what compassion is about. When you suffer with someone you love, God suffers as well. And friends, we must know that when we cry, God cries with us. When we lose someone we love, it's a loss for God as well. Yes, it is gain because they're going to be with God. You know, <coughs> excuse me. We believe that death is gain to us because we're going to have eternal life. But I want you to understand this, that during these times of mourning and pain and heartbreak, God is mourning and is in pain and his heart is breaking with us as well. So therefore, he's not the fact that it's not about him not caring or has left us. No, he's there. He's gracious and he's compassionate. So friends, whatever you're going through, whether you've lost your job, whether you've lost your income, whether you've lost a loved one or you tested positive of COVID and you are in isolation as you're watching uh, this devotion, remember this this morning, that our God is gracious and compassionate. And friends, remember that his heart breaks with your heart and he knows and he feels your pain and he understands your pain. Pain won't last forever. Pain may come in the night, but joy will come in the morning. We'll reach a point where we look back at these years, 2019, 2020, 2021, and look back and say, if it wasn't for God, it wouldn't be this far. We'll look back and see the footprints and the works of God and, and the fact that God saves us through this pandemic. So friends, let us continue to pray for one another. Let us continue lifting each other in prayer. Let us continue being there for each other, even, if, even though we can't you know, visit one another. But remember this. Let's use the social media. Let's, let's WhatsApp one another. Let's SMS one another. You know, if, if we're able to be on Zoom, let's, let's go on Zoom and see each other. On Zoom. Let's try our level best to be there because this time, these times, you know, this isolation and everything, they bring anxiety, depression, to other people and, and mental health issues even though we don't highlight them that much because we talk about death we talk about loss of jobs and all of that but mental health is a big problem during this time hence I'm saying let's pray for one another let's be there for one another you're feeling lonely, depressed pick up a phone, phone someone talk to someone because that's what we need it is hard times but remember, during this hard time, God continues to be gracious. During this hard time, God continues to be compassionate. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, I give you thanks and praise for your word. Thanks and praise for reminding us through the psalmist that great are your works, O Lord, and those who believe we ponder upon your words. That you are gracious and compassionate and you provide food for those who fear you, God. As a reminder to those who've lost their income that you'll always provide for them, God. A reminder to those who've lost their loved ones that you feel and understand their pain. So thank you for your word. Continue to bless us. Continue to be gracious. Continue to be compassionate. I pray all these things in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Friends, before I close off with the benediction, I just want to remind you, uh, because this scripture also reminded me, especially the part, verse 5, where he says he provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever, that we've got the food pantry in our church, and I've made an appeal on Sunday, because the, the, we low on groceries, their own food. So, And thank you for those who did bring some tin stuff and some milli meal and rice and all other things. And I just want to continue to ask for people to remember our food pantry and can just come and drop off food here at church. Or if you can't come to drop off food, you can deposit the money in our church account via EFT and then just have uh, your reference as food pantry so that we can continue to offer you know, food to those who are in need in our community. So remember that. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. May you be blessed. May God be with you. And let's say the benediction together. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed week. Amen.